what happens if you chase i plus plus two plus plus i in traditional for looping JavaScript? Did you ever tried that? I have not tried. Can you show me? This is a simple for loop. Here we are just trying to print the numbers from one to ten. When you execute this code, it will print the numbers from one to ten. And now, what happens if you change post increment of i to the pre increment of i, like this? Now guess what? Actually, the output is same. Why both are producing the same output? Here, the for loop only cares about the increment of i value for the next condition check. Either it is a post increment or a pre increment, it doesn't care. It just needs the incremented value of i. That's it. Then I asked myself why most of the people will use post increment of i instead of pre increment of i in JavaScript or any other programming language. The main reason I found out is readability and habit. Post increment of i is most commonly used in many real time projects and tutorials and code examples. That's why most of the people will stick with that. And it is more familiar with the people who are coming from other languages like C, C++ or Java. And the best part is in JavaScript, even if it is a post increment or pre increment, there is no performance difference at all. So you can use any of them. But for simplicity and readability, people are sticking with the post increment of i instead of pre increment of i. That is the only difference I found out is. Thank you so much for watching the video.